Hey everybody, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a short new video on the channel about Auto Legends. Uh, Auto Legends being the game that some of the old devs of uh, Racing Rivals and the Nitto series have kind of all gotten together and are making a new game from what we've talked about on the channel here in the past. You can follow um, Auto Legends and its development and all that through autolegends.com. You can find all the social medias through their webpage. Uh, I think I'll be making a link tree for them. I just need to get all the links and such in order. I'm going to sneeze. I'm so glad I paused for that. Anyway, we got a new little update from them last night, and I wanted to just go over the short video and see what we can spot as far as like cars and things like that in this video. So as you can see, there's this new post from them that shows off the car lot. Now, there's some fun stuff in here. So, whoops. So let's take a look here and just peruse some of the cars, see what we find, see what we like. I do have a little bit of the top of the screen cut off just because of cropping out my personal Facebook info. But right away, I see some stuff that they haven't talked about publicly yet. And I'm thinking about making a public list of cars that we know so far might be in the game for sure at launch. Because there's a lot of cars in this screenshot that it's the first time we're seeing them. So obviously there's RX-7s, body kitted RX-7s, stock RX-7s. There's a VW Golf R32 over here. There's a Toyota Supra. Honda Civic, don't know if it's like a Type R Civic hatch or a regular Civic hatch. I'm trying to see what's in the background here. This looks all like RX-7, Civic, Civic, RX-7. This is, I believe, a body kit for the RX-7. I forget what it's called, the little blue one back here. I'm guessing this is like a Golfer, an RX-7. But two new cars we've never seen before. This is a Zonda, and this is a Ford Probe. That's pretty sweet. I want to give a shout out to my friend Eric, who actually pointed those out to me, because I haven't actually looked at this yet, but he uh, posted up a message about it, because he found them when he first watched this. So, oh my god. Let's see what else we see here. Yeah, so this is that cool body kit for the RX-7. I forget what this body kit's called in real life. But, uh, yeah, it's a body kit for the RX-7. Let's see what else we see. So it is a Type R Civic. You can see the Type R badging right there. Very difficult to, uh, to tell, but since I follow a lot of right-hand drive sales groups on Facebook, I just kind of know that badge pretty well now. Oh, so we got a new pop-up. We know it's a 93 RX-7. That's cool. So they have some stats about the vehicle. Uh, 255 horsepower at 6,500, 200 foot-pounds of torque at 6,500, uh, rear-wheel drive, uh, 2,426 pounds, mileage is 60,000 miles. What I'm hoping for, seeing that it says mileage here, is they actually are going to have a mileage tracker. Because that feels like a really cool mechanic that I've only seen a few times in games. So this could be a really cool mechanic to have to know like, hey, this engine might need more maintenance or less maintenance uh, or like a complete rebuild because it's just old at this point. Uh, color red. Mm, that's really red. Really, really red. Give me one second. All right, there we go. Uh, quarter mile time of 10.3 seconds. That's cool. That's going to tell you that kind of thing. With a top speed of 175. View documentation, do they do that? They click inf so there's a little I for info over here. Uh, oh, and it gives you a rundown about the car. That's pretty cool. So 93RX7 Savannah. I wonder if that's what the body kit is called. Let me Google that real quick. Seems to have nothing to do with it. Um, but let's give this a read real quick. The RX-7 is a front-engine, rear-wheel drive, rotary engine-powered... Oh my god, sports car that was manufactured and mar marketed by Mazda from 78 to 2002 across three generations. All of which 
made use of a compact, lightweight Wankel rotary engine. They say the word engine. I feel like it. Uh, they could word this a little better. The Mazda RX-7 is a front engine because they already mentioned engine. They don't need to say engine twice. Is a you? They could reword it as like. I scored really high for reading and writing when I was in high school, so like this kind of stuff just works for me. The Mazda RX-7 is a rotary, a front, I wonder the best way to say this, is a rear-wheel drive front rotary engine powered sports car. Maybe that works better. I'm not sure. Let's click play. Oh, uh, the first generation of the RX-7, SA early and FB late was a two-seater, two-door hatchback coupe, or coupe, uh, depends on where you live from what I've heard. It featured a 12A, the first generation of the RX-7, SA, early, and FB, late, was a two-seater, two-door hatchback coupe. It featured a 12A, oh, okay, so I'm guessing they're definitely going to change this around and reword it and stuff like that, because obviously it just cuts off right here and a lot of it doesn't really make sense so it's probably placeholder text uh just to like show people what it's going to be like so exit info cool uh price i don't know what this little last chance thing is i wonder if that's i wonder if there's going to be different types of dealerships. So there's probably going to be used car dealerships and there's probably going to be like new car dealerships. If it's a new car dealership and you get this last chance badge, maybe there's no more at that dealership or something like that. So maybe they have 10 of them in stock, nine of them get purchased. This shows up when it's the last chance to purchase it. Or maybe they could have, you know, what could be really cool would be a bidding system, kind of like eBay Motors where you can basically negotiate pricing with a person selling a vehicle. That could be really cool. Uh, I wonder if they click view documentation. They don't, they just click buy. Looks like you have to hard press it, which I think is a very good thing. Um, there's either that or having an annoying pop-up where it's like, are you sure you want to buy this? I think the long press is better because then you get to sit there and think about it for a second. Do I really want this? No, never mind. Or, yeah, I really want this, and you keep it held down. That's actually a really good way to do it. And the car has been added to your garage, continue shopping, or deliver to garage. I wonder if they're... Knowing how gaming is nowadays, there's probably going to be a timing on this that you can use, you know, premium currency to get over the timing of it. Not sure, though, but I'm going to guess that that's going to be a thing that exists because it's normal in gaming these days, especially anything that's kind of on mobile. But it looks like continue shopping. And, okay, it just fades out into the logo. So that was a really good look at, uh, you know, the cars that we haven't seen before, like the Ford Probe, the Zonda, Really cool to know that they're going to have some exotics, some hypercars, some supercars. Despite the fact that it seems like they're marketing this more and more towards street racing. Because even in street racing, you do see these vehicles once in a while. Granted, you don't see it like out on the street racing. You don't see that in real life usually. You'll see one at like Goodwood's Festival of Speed or something like that. But you won't really see it out and about per se. But really cool. I think it's time to start making a list of these are the cars I think are going to be in Auto Legends based on videos and screenshots. Because I feel like that could be a lot of fun to compile that list. I know AR12 Gaming does that when it comes to Forza and like having the rumor mill and stuff like that of future Forza games that are coming out. They'll do that uh, even with updates. And I feel like that's just a really cool idea. But. Let me know if you guys want to have a list like on the Discord or if I should make like my own web page for it. Could be a fun little thing to do. But I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm excited for Auto Legends. Peace out.